feels ages since I've done a video here, actually. Um, no, I mean, as far as today was concerned, I think that's probably the best we could have hoped for, really. We were down to 10 men for over two-thirds of the second half. We had a load of injuries going into the game, not a fully fit squad. The Wolves were top of the league and flying. So to get a nil-nil draw there, especially showing great resilience after Catamol sending off, you know, that shows great character, and I'm hopeful... That's not just a one-off. I'm hopeful that's something that we can actually do long-term because that's proof we can actually do it. As opposed to last week against Reading, the instant went down to 10 men were crumbled. So today, much better standard. Catamol, I would say that I think the first one I didn't think was a yellow card. I think that's purely refs booking him on reputation. I'm getting quite sick of that now. But he has been very poor this season. He does deserve to be dropped, to be fair. And the second one, yeah, he's stupid when he's just been booked. Typical Catamol, I suppose, or what he used to be like anyway. As for today, I mean, Bolton, Burton and um, Birmingham lost, I think. Is it? Bolton? Yeah, those three got beat. Um, pretty decent day down the bottom end of the championship. We've now got a few vital games coming up. Fulham is a huge one. Birmingham is the biggest probably of the lot. If we can get at least four points from those two, then we'll see what happens. Then you've got Sheffield United away. And I'm not really in the big Sheffield United camp. I don't see what they've got that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're doing very well, obviously, this season. But they're massively overachieving to be where they are, I think. So, look. And then you've got Forest, winnable. Barnsley, definitely winnable. After the stick some Barnsley fans have been giving me, I hope we actually smash them, even though we probably won't. Look, guys, I love you and leave you. Good result today. Very happy. Just build on that. And next week, can we please end the home hoodoo? It's about time. Because if we don't beat Fulham, we've gone over a whole calendar year without winning at home. Come on, lads. See you later.